Um, so it was definitely a decision that all of us made together. And then we decided to take it to our parents because we realized that it was something that was going to get a lot of um, both negative and positive backlash. So we just wanted to make sure that we had our family support before anything. And um, we prayed on it, talked to God about it, and then we felt as though we were ready when we decided to take that action. Yeah, a lot of thought was put into it. It wasn't something we just brought, like, it wasn't a rash decision. Like, we all discussed it, we all talked to our parents about it, we all thought about the reasons why we wanted to do it and made sure that it was the right decision for us. We definitely kneeled for equality. We kneeled to highlight social injustice and kneeled to highlight police brutality and kneel in honor of those who unjustly lost their lives and could not kneel for themselves. Um, we kneeled in a city where confederate culture still exists among some and issues like this are often placed on the back burner. Um, we kneeled because we are a minority and we kneeled most importantly for unity in a country that needs it the most right now. So right off the bat, they were not... Um, my mom personally was not for it, but my father was like, My mom was fully for it. She was all the go for it. My mom was worried more so about the consequences, even outside of the university, even down to my job. But my dad was definitely for it, so he persuaded her more so. And then the day up to when I sent them um, my written statement and they saw um, my Facebook post with my values, it, it brought tears to her eyes and then she was immediately ready. I don't know about you guys, but it was the scariest thing I've yes. ever done. I, my heart was pounding. I didn't know what was Yes, we were all shaking. We were all definitely nervous about it. I could definitely tell everyone was nervous, so I brought everyone in for us to say a prayer mm -hmm. um, yeah. prior to pregame, so we prayed about it and just asked that God uh, put his protection on us, but our passion was definitely stronger than our fear. Mm -hmm. They were so proud of so us proud. and supportive, told us that they had our back and that yeah, they love what we're doing and that yeah. they're glad we're speaking out. We've had people reach up to us down to um, professors here at the university mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, in support of us. How much and people you? who also work for the games who said that they wish that they could kneel but they are worried about losing their job. However, they are in support of us. Um, we definitely felt as though we thought that um, there was a direct correlation between the fact that we were protesting something such as social injustice and police brutality and we get a response from law enforcement. So we felt as though our voices were definitely, at that point I felt as though our, voice, our voices were definitely affected and being heard. I mean we honestly knew we were going to get negative feedback like that and we prepared for it like Shalandra like said, we talked about it, we knew that this was going to happen so we had to prepare ourselves for people to say things like that. I think I was shocked he was so open yeah. about saying yeah. certain things that normally people wouldn't say right. that openly but he was just like Whatever, like, I was shocked that he was that open about it. Yeah. Um, was there anything particular that shocked you about it? Um, like when he assured Everything. that it wouldn't happen yeah, again, like, I was kind of Yeah, like, that's yeah. probably what made me the most I mean, upset, like, especially the because the athletic department said it had nothing to do with that. And then he said, don't worry, it won't happen again to the sheriff. That was really the whole art right. And then pre-game was restructured. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. We're going to keep taking it in until that flag represents what it definitely right. should. And I'll actually be able to do it out on the field from now on because I don't run out with the rest of them, obviously, because I'm hurt. So I'm still going to take a knee, and they are, are they are as well, just in the tunnel. In the tunnel. So Even we're still going to keep doing us, it. They cannot silence us. Exactly. Well, the way our coach presented it to us, he presented it to us as though it should be something that we should be excited about. You know, we get an introduction. Um, like the football team does. And with this being my third year on the team, that's something that we've never done. So I just thought that it was very funny that after the game that we um, decided to take this action, all of a sudden there's this new policy. Right. So we, um, I emailed athletics and they assured me that the restructuring of pregame was something that they talked about prior to us doing it and it was purely coincidental. However, when we saw the article with the quote from the president saying that it never happened again, it definitely raised eyebrows to the fact that we took the action and now pregame is restructured even though they're saying that it has nothing to do with it. And when we tried to go out just during the national anthem and come back, we weren't allowed. Like they said it was for our own safety because the other team would be running out, so they wouldn't let us go back out there. The president, when when he had told um, the sheriff that he shouldn't sure worry about that it, it again, wasn't gonna happen yeah, again. that that's what made it more obvious to us that it didn't seem like it was I just because. I feel as though, as the president of this university, he should be um, more supportive of his students taking a stand to exercise their First Amendment right. He should support us. Well, they haven't told us that we can't do it. They've just um, They've done put it, so put we're it not to where saying, we cannot be. Yeah, like, yeah. Now we're not saying. We are now in the tunnel. <laughs>
Okay, come in. 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 We, like I said, we assume the negative and positive backlash and consequences that will come from it before we even did it. We, we just turned it all over to God. Prepared ourselves. Yeah. Yeah, my boyfriend's a football player and obviously I know a lot of his friends and they all 100% support us. They really, um, they think it's really great what we did and that we took a stance and um, that we had enough courage to do that. So they did, most of the ones, I've, everyone I've talked to on the football team has supported us. They've shared with us that they're kept in the locker room during the national anthem to eliminate controversy. Um, to us it really means that we're um, promoting equality, like I said, highlighting social injustice and highlighting police brutality dealing in honor of those who unjustly lost their lives. But um, one of the major criticisms that we do get from doing this is that it's disrespectful to our army and to our military. However, um, yesterday on campus right here in front of the commons, I was presented with this um, army coin by someone who's currently serving in the military. And he shared with me that in the military, they commend um, brave acts of courage with the, with coins and he wanted to give me this coin to commend my brave act of courage and that is not an issue of disrespecting the military or anything like that it's just people use that to cover up um, how they actually feel so I, I just ask people to ask are they upset with the fact that we're taking a knee or are they upset with the values that we're actually kneeling for yes. Um, as someone who's currently serving in the military. Like I really, I really want people to realize that we're not doing this to be disrespectful to the flag or to the military. Like that's not what this is about at all. And I feel like that's what people make it about. Obviously. And we're still placed over our hearts. Yeah. Right. We still respect the flag. We still, we obviously still respect the people who fight for our freedom, our, our country, all of that. And people are making it seem as though we're being disrespectful. That's not what we want. I grew up in an extremely patriotic home. Like I was, I was raised to. To um, appreciate my country, appreciate the fact that I live here, and the reason we're taking knees because some things do need to be fixed, and I feel like it shouldn't be a problem that we want our country to improve on the things that's wrong.